Hello, this is John from KFRProgramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at um, how to find out when your component has been resized which is um, which is often useful. So um, if I run this now, um, the whole screen on my applet is taken up by this custom component um, and um, I'm actually doing some double buffering as I explained in previous tutorials but it means that um, I've got an image here that I'm drawing to but if I resize my component then the image um, doesn't change its size even though the, the custom component I've got has become bigger so what I need to do is create a bigger image when my component's resized and for that I need to intercept the uh, resize event so I'm going to go into my custom component code here which is called game and extends j component and in the constructor here, where I've already got a bunch of stuff listening to the mouse and um, keys among other things, I'm going to say add component listener. Now component listener takes um, a class that implements a component listener interface, but that component listener interface has quite a lot of methods and I don't need most of them. So I'm going to use here not a new component listener anonymous class, but a new component adapter. Adap which implements kind of dummy versions of all of the component listener methods. Let's do Control Shift O to add the import, and I'll right click in there and go to Source Override Implement Methods. And these are all the well, actually, there's only four of them: component adapter methods. And I just want to deal with the component resized method here. And I, all I need to do for this tutorial actually um, is is just set my um, buffer, my image, to null if the component is resized because I've got this code I added in a previous tutorial in paint component that creates a new buffered image of the right size if the buffer is null. So if I run this now and I resize it, my component um, correctly uh, intercepts the resize event and um, it makes my, my buffer, my double buffer um, bigger or smaller as is necessary. So that's it for this tutorial. Join me again next time and until next time, happy coding.